Hello, hello there, friends. Lynn Lindberg of the Health and Fitness Motivation Podcast. Yours truly here with another installment of our More Energy series in this podcast. If you're new to the More Energy series, check out my podcast. Look at the last whole bunch of episodes. We've got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of really quick, short, fun, quirky, free, easy to do, ah, easy's relative, attainable to do options of how to get more energy in your life. And today is another installment. We're almost done with the series. We only got like five more and then we're wrapping it up and moving along. Okay. Today is titled the three day sleep test. Okay. Three day sleep test. This is not going to a sleep specialist and having them like put all kinds of sensors on you and have you lay in this like creepy, comfortable, paisley, pale colored room with soft music to help you sleep and see how you sleep. No, no, no. This is not a sleep test like that. And I probably slaughtered that. I've never taken a sleep test. I don't know why I said paisley. I doubt there's paisley on the wall of these sleep test rooms. (laughs) I don't know. If Paisley means something to you, let me know. I don't know why that word came out of my mouth. That was weird. Okay. So it's three day sleep test, how to get more energy. This is what you want to do right now, right now where you are, whether you're seated, laying down, standing in your car, whatever. I don't care. You can do this right now. You want to look at your calendar over the next month the next month, give yourself an entire month and ask yourself this question. Where in the next month do I have three days in a row where I can pretty much guarantee that I can be in bed with the lights dimmed and no cell phone on for eight full hours? Now, doesn't matter if you can sleep or not. doesn't matter if you have to get up 12 times to go pee. I don't care about all that. But do you have three days in a row where you can say, yep, for these three days in a row, I actually can sleep well. Okay. This is the test. That is the full amount of the test. If you have that, you're like, yeah, yeah, I have a lifestyle and a schedule where I can be in bed eight hours, three days in a row regardless of whether or not I sleep, then ding, 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 congratulations, you pass the test. Now, that doesn't mean that you're actually sleeping. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything in that realm. But to my friends who do not have those three days, all right, you are the people who you look at your calendar and you look at your life and you say, you know what? I don't have three days in a row where I can sleep through the night. So let me give you a couple examples. The most, the most obvious example, the most easy, obvious example is you've got little kids or you've got other people in your house that are waking you up. And so you have to get up to care for those little kids, or you have somebody else in your house who gets up in the middle of the night and disturbs your sleep. Or, um, you know, you've got an animal who just has, um, issues and your animal is, making it so you have to get up for that animal at night. Um, Those are like the really most obvious ones. Uh, Not so obvious is maybe you live in a place where there's a lot of noise outside your window, a lot going on, and uh, sirens going by, trucks going by that wake you up, a lot of different things. Or maybe you have a lifestyle where you have to get up and go to work super early in the morning or you have some obligation that makes it so your sleep is interrupted or makes it so it's really hard to get a lot of sleep. Maybe you've got, you know, you're burning the candle at both ends, right? You're working all day and you're dealing with all your family or personal obligations all night long. And so you're just up too late at night and then your alarm clock goes off too early and you can't get your eight hours of sleep. Okay. So we get the gist, right? Yeah, we get the gist. If that's you, if you fall in that camp, where you cannot find three days in a row, where you can be in bed, lights out, no cell phone for eight hours, three nights in a row over a month time, then Houston, we have a problem. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You failed the test. Yes. 
I'm sorry to say this. No, I'm not sorry to say this. I care about you. You failed the test. It means that your sleep deprivation deprivation <laughs> is an issue. Or if it's not, it's going to be very soon. And you have to remind yourself now you're a human being and humans need their sleep. Humans need their rest. And so you've got to raise the red flag, raise the white flag, whatever flag you got to raise, you got to raise it, start advocating for yourself and start the path of figuring out what you can do to change what you have going on so you can actually get sleep more consistently. So in a perfect world, we would have lives where we're able to sleep all the time eight hours or be in bed eight hours a day all the time in a perfect world. Life isn't perfect. So that's why we say the three-day sleep test, because if you are in such an imperfect world that you can't find even three days, that's when you know, I got a problem. I no longer can get in denial. Lynn told me I got to get this figured out. Now, what do you do with that? (laughs) Sometimes it just is what it is. And we have a barrier that's here to stay. When my son was a little boy and he was sick all the time and I was a single mom and I was working and I had to be out the door in a suit with my son, ready to go to daycare at 7.15 every morning so I could be to work by 8 a.m., work with clients all day long. Like, and, and, and my son was sick a lot, so he was up in the middle of the night a lot sick. Like that just kind of what it was, kind of what it was because I wasn't going to quit my job, had bills to pay. I wasn't going to quit my kid. (laughs) I wasn't going to, I was doing everything I could to keep my son healthy. But you know, it just sometimes life happens. And sometimes life happens for weeks, or months. And sometimes life just happens for years. And that's okay. But much of the time, while life is happening, if we feel like life is happening to us, much of the time, we have way more power than we realize to start taking the steps to get back to the energy, to get back to having space for ourselves, way more power to do that and influence that than we give ourselves credit for. And that's a whole nother series of podcasts (laughs) and topics for another day. But for now, simple, simple terms. Look at your calendar. Can you sleep for three days in a row or be in bed eight hours a day, three days in a row? If you can, you pass the test. You're good. Move on to the next podcast. If you can't, er, we got to pause and take a look at this because this is really serious stuff. And I say it because I care and it will help you get more energy. To learn more about me and working with me to help you with all of this life stuff, head on over to couchtoactive.com. The homepage there will get you up and rolling. There's literally step one, do this. Step two, do this. We'll get you plugged in. We'll get you going and help you figure all of this life stuff out. That's couchtoactive.com.